Hi everyone, it's Sam and welcome to my get ready with me for school. I'll show you my go-to routine and we can chit chat a little bit about like college. Let's get into the video. I of course start with my moisturizer and this is the one that I use. And this video is just gonna be like my go-to as of right now. I always start my makeup with my eyebrows. I just pluck them so they are pretty thin. It starts off looking a little bit crazy, but don't worry, we're gonna fix it. I just prime my face with this NYX spray. This is my go-to foundation. It's the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. So since this is a get ready with me for school slash class, let's talk about school. I have done, I'd say, like every type of college, if you want to say it that way. And by that, I mean that I did commuting to community college, I live at the current college that I'm at, and now I commute to that college. So, you know, I've done it all. I also forgot to mention, I did college online for a whole semester too. Just wanted that other. I used the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour. I did a little bit more than I meant to. I also put it on my nose. Trust the process, trust the process. As I was saying, so I have done all these different, you know, things for school and I would say there's been a lot of ups and downs okay ups and downs but i can happily say that making the decision to commute this semester was the best decision i could have made i did two years at community college and i spent a lot of that time being like oh my god i don't want to be done i want to live at school i decided all of a sudden like oh i want to live at school now and then you know i graduated from community college and i was living at school and for me personally i had to learn the lesson that it was not for me and that's okay honestly looking back on it. I don't know how to explain this, but the fact that I lived there for a whole semester doesn't even feel like real to me. Like I feel like I really did that for a whole semester and I'm not gonna get into like all the reasons it didn't work for me, but there were a number of them and I planned on giving it one more chance this semester and living there again. And I spent about what I do a week there and then it got to the point where it was like, yeah, um, no. <laughs> the living situation was not gonna work. And so I moved out <laughs> and it was a chaotic experience. I used the Maybelline Fit Me powder using this thing. Um, so yeah, like the fact that I lived there for however many months, four months or something, I'm like, I'm so proud of myself that I was even, I even did that with, with the living conditions I was under, like roommate conditions. <laughs> but anyway, what I was saying was for me, making the decision to commute at the beginning of the semester was the best decision I could have made for myself. I have absolutely no regrets. And I think that so far this semester has been maybe my best out of all, I'm on my third year of college. Like I said, I've had my ups and downs and I've had moments where I was really hating it, hating college and everything. But this semester I can say that I think it's been my best one so far. So my advice is just do whatever your gut is telling you is gonna make you the happiest. Because honestly, when it was time to move back in at the beginning of the semester, my gut was telling me, I do not wanna do this. I was crying. I was like, I don't, I don't wanna go. Then I followed my gut, which was telling me you are not meant to live there and now i am much happier for it that's my little advice for my current go-to i've been using this cloud nine palette from ColourPop, and i've been doing very minimal eyeshadow i've been liking minimal eyeshadow with still a big wing and eyelashes this is the one i've been going into right here perfect day and i'm just taking a little bit of that and putting it on my crease but i'm doing very light eyeshadow i don't know i've been liking that but i got through phases <laughs> College looks different for everyone, and for me, I'm happiest here. I'm just using my spray on a flat brush. I'm taking this little ColourPop palette, and that's because it's broken. But anyway, and stuff is falling out as I do this. I like this shade, this like white shimmery shade, and I'm putting that on my lid. And then I'm just taking what's left on this brush and just kind of making sure it's all blending together. Next for eyeliner, I use NYX Epic Ink Liner. And I'm just gonna do here, Ooh. Yeah, it's been falling apart for some time. Actually, what I do is I take my tweezers and I just take out whichever piece is falling out. Eyeliner is perhaps the toughest thing to show on camera. So I'm first gonna explain. I do this, like that. Next, we do a line, kind of like that. And I try to match it like that. And then we connect. 
and then I'm gonna fill it in. I'll be right back. I lengthened them a little bit. I also do some eyeliner on the bottom. I use this Milani. It's like a pencil. It's not like a pencil. It is a pencil. And I bring this underneath. Also, another thing I've learned in college, in my semester living there, people are can be pretty fake. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that to all those fake people out there. I know everyone says that, but like, yes. I can't stand it. I listen, maybe I don't have tolerance for this, but it's okay. People will say one thing and turn around and do another. Totally opposite thing. And it was so frustrating to me living with that, living living in that sort of environment with this fakeness. Like, I don't know why. I guess that's just the kind of person I am. I do what I want to do. I also don't appreciate when I would say no to something and then people would give me a whole issue. By the way, can you see what I'm doing? I'm just putting it underneath. Yeah, so watch out for fake people out there, but I just can't. Oh, I'm just using the other end of this eyeliner and it's just kind of to blend it a little bit. That is what I do. I don't know, I might've overdone it, but who really cares? <laughs> okay. So let's do blush. By the way, I just have to say, shirts like this, like the off the shoulder makes me feel really good. I was like, kind of like, Ugh, I don't feel like getting ready today. I don't really feel like getting dressed, blah, blah, blah. And then I put on this shirt and now I'm like, <laughs> okay. Anyways, Too Faced Christmas in London palette. This is an amazing palette, which I love, especially the blushes. This has been my go-to, Pretty and Punk, and I've been putting a lot on. I don't know if it's too much or what, but I've just been wanting to Pile that on there, okay? So let's do that. And I'm focusing it up here, of course. I've learned my mistakes in the past. And I didn't even mean to go on a college rant in this video, but I figure if I'm doing a get ready with me for school, it only makes sense to talk about school, right? And why not talk about my experience? And no, I'm not gonna make like a roommate horror story video because I don't know, I always feel like, what if they see that? I am so excited for this fall because last fall was so bad. <laughs> it might be my favorite time of the year, fall going into to winter because it's the holidays it's halloween and christmas oh and thanksgiving of course and i love to enjoy that time and i felt like it kind of got was not great okay am i overdoing it i don't know after this i have to record a video for a class and i have to record it on my webcam so i feel like it'll wash me out so i want to make sure i'm like okay that's probably too much i'm just talking and talking yapping and yapping anyways that's probably enough blush i need to chill out and go on to my holy grail product color is that upside down? Yes. ColourPop highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. I love this. Here. Ooh. Why is there so much on there? I guess we're gonna be glowing today. Oh, glowing. Love. Can you see it? There was a bunch on this brush. I don't know why. Okay, we're just gonna. It's okay, don't panic. Just on that out and now it's gone and then i take a small brush here and put it in my inner corner so anyway what was i saying oh i was saying that oh ignore one of my nails fell off i was saying that i'm excited to be able to enjoy this fall but before that i'm excited to enjoy the spring and the summer of course of course oh okay so i forgot to tell you what i was doing but i put some of my nose inner corner and brow bone okay so let's go on to the next step wow i feel like this went kind of fast. Oh god, it's almost 12. I'm looking at the clock that's up there. If you're wondering what my commuting schedule looks like, I have two days out of the week are early days where I have to be up early and I have a 9.30 class. And then the two other days, I don't have a class until 3.30. That's today. Oh, and there's a fifth day of the week. Of course, I don't have a class that day though. So that's pretty nice. I just curled my eyelashes, so now I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I've been using this for a long time and just using that as my mascara today and most days. Yeah, and I'm glad I'm putting this all on this channel now because I feel like, so I have two graduation videos up and it's like, if you didn't know what the situation was, you'd be confused like, okay, wait, didn't she already graduate just two years ago? Well, three years ago this spring but yeah that's because i had a high school graduation and then a community college graduation and then in a year from now i'll have another college graduation okay mascara is on lately i've been using i feel like i just heard something like thunder but maybe it was just a car i use the kiss eyelash glue uh oh these are the <laughs> you cannot see that these are the eyelashes I use. They are from a big multi-pack of lashes from Amazon. Da -da 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 -dum, da -da -da -dum. So yeah, I don't know. The moral of the story is follow your gut, do what makes you happy. College is different for everyone. You know, just, you know, that's, I guess that's what I have to say. I think I, le I think I learned a lot by living there and I understood, you know, what works for me and what doesn't. This is my purse that I use every day. I'm getting out my 
lipstick. Oh my gosh, I keep seeing videos of this Juicy Couture purse that they have at like Marshalls and Home Goods and TJ Maxx, and I really want to go look for it. So yeah. <laughs> I think my eyelashes are ready. They're ready, like they've been like baking. Oh, my eyelashes are ready. <laughs> we are using Maybelline. Wait, is this Maybelline? Yes, Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Lead the Way. I use this Revlon lipstick in the shade Pink in the Afternoon, and it looks like this. Yay! I use my trusty NYX setting spray and set that in place. So that concludes my everyday makeup routine for school, my go-to. Thank you for hanging out with me and chit-chatting, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great, amazing day. <laughs> Bye!